guys, it's Cherry Does Fun Stuff, and welcome back to another video. So when I was in first grade, I was obsessed with dogs. So I'm going to be looking at my old diary all about dogs. So, okay. <laughs> okay, so there's one chapter I'm going to be focusing on today, and then there's going to be another chapter I'm going to be focusing on until later on in this video. So, 2011, the 14th of April. When Gabby was first born, she was born with a precious jewel called a diamond. It was her birth gift from the priest of her christening. Wait, dogs get christened? His name was Father Fufi. It was Lord Fufi's forefather. What? And Gabby kept that diamond in her jewel box and treasured it for four years. After four years, I came as a five-year-old to take home... Wait. 2011, the 14th of April, I was four back then, not five, to take home Gabby. Gabby's heart was filled with joy. She wanted to bring her diamond with her to show me that she was the most precious pup in the farmhouse. But the farmer said no. Why? She has to keep it here as a souvenir. But Gabby wasn't allowed to say no. She docked, wait, locked her jewel box forever. And nobody couldn't, so it, oh. And nobody could open it ever again, and off she went to our home. Okay, 2014, the 1st of January. Cousin Soft started off her life like Miss Hollywood. She was in fashion shows, and once she ended up as Axe Hobo. She sunk down in the water, killed her. That sounds really sad. Is this... She was clean and her f white fur shimmered and shined and after the bath I named her Cousin Soft the Fluffy Snuggler. She made friends with m uh, all my dogs and played a lot with Timmy's old toy boot. She loved my house and loved it forever. But how could she love it because she's dead now? I killed her. Um, 2014, the 13th of February. Kathy is a stylish, famous poop. Famous poodle. Every boy dog that passes by stares at her or whistles. She also never wants to get muddy. She's so pure and wants to be a queen poodle all the time. But once she met a pug while me and my mum were shopping in the square's south gate. She's full of sugar, spice and everything nice. And then she saw the pug, the woman that had the pug tied him outside and went, I sound like Siri, and went in, and went into sound gates. <laughs> the pug and Kathy chatted, wait, what? Chatted for ages and Kathy even gave him one of her potato crisps. And the pug gave Kathy a sip of his strawberry milkshake. No one noticed them kissing behind the fountain. Or the one hat beside Kathy, Kathy's right ear and almost on top of the pug's head. Do you know what? They fell in love. But Kathy was sad to see the pug leaving. Okay. 2013, the, 9th, uh, the 19th of July. Reggie and Sunshine go to the disc competition at the park. They're in the beginner class. They do it with Honey and Misty. But Honey and Misty are rough players check out last july the red team and the blue team were playing against each other whoever won at least 26 points will win the golden trophy reggie couldn't run as fast as honey and misty the yellow discs span around in the air reggie's teeth were coming for it and a miss the blue team won 25 points and the red team won nine points it was over but it wasn't a miss he only hit once anyways um Meanwhile, I came and brought the critters home. Reggie was crying, but Sunshine thought it's okay to fail as long as you keep trying. Okay, so 2013, the 14th of May. Purdy's party was quite of a busy day, was a busy celebration. I was getting mixed up what to give him, a dog bone cake or a sweet cake. But I gave him the wrong cake. This time it was Purdy that was mixed up. He didn't know what to do. Blow out the candles or tell me to get another cake. This time he did the wrong thing. He made a wish, but after he made a wish, he had something worked out. I went all the way back to the shop, got a chocolate cake. Got all the chocolate off, the chocolate icing off and put on bone icing. How does that work? Happy birthday, Purdy, shouted snitchers. 
Purdy didn't have to make a wish. He had the right cake. Okay. Um, the tw 2014, the 8th of April. I'm getting mixed up at the time. Poor Snitchers was totally missing. It was the only Scotty I had in the whole wide world. The good boy was lost while on a walk to the golf club by chasing a rabbit in a blackberry bush. The then ran off. We printed photos of snitchers on daddy's printer. We stuck them on the walls and the trees. Some people saw him, but none of the other Scotties were busy trying to look for him. I hope we find him Sunday. He's fine. I guess I just think awful things are going to happen to him. He's a lot little dog, snitchers to Scotty. I, snang as I, cr I sang as I cried. Snitchers is out there somewhere. I can feel it in my heart. He's definitely, he is definitely, I know he is. What is this? Okay. Oh, wait, we're on the second chapter now. Okay, so I'll continue that later on in the day, maybe in a few hours. Okay, so. So, um, bye. Hope you enjoyed this video. Bye.